Good afternoon, Gibson City United Methodist Church. I'm Susan Schultz, your Facebook page administrator, here with day 10 of our Advent Christmas countdowns. I'm gonna get rid of the things that are popping up on my page. So in case anybody comments, I can maybe see them this time. Um, so I have two today of a similar theme, and the theme is a boat or a ship. So I'm wondering, I'm guessing that maybe you can guess what the first, the first boat is that I'm going to talk about. <laughs> it's the first and probably one of the biggest boats of our, uh, in, our, in our Bible that we think about. And I'm going to try to get out of this sunbeam. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Okay, so the first boat that we're going to look at on the Chrismon is the Ark of Noah. And this Chrismon has the rainbow, and which is symbols of, um, well, the Ark is the symbol of Noah, and the rainbow is the symbol of the flood <clears throat> of God, and it's the um, symbol of God's promise. But what I didn't know, because I kind of knew that, and I'm guessing a lot of you will have known that too. I don't know if I'm seeing comments or... <laughs> so, the Ark is the first one. But what I did not know is that the uh, Ark is also a symbol of the church. And... Um, I was able to find that ships have been featured in Christian art since the very beginning, first appearing in the catacombs, which are, I'm pretty sure, the tombs that um, people were, that Christians were buried in. So they found those, and it was a favorite image of the church fathers who saw the ship as a symbol of the church. And... Um, one of the oldest documents in, uh, was written in the fourth century, and it states, when you call an assembly of the church as one that is the commander of the great ship, then you're to appoint who does what in the ship, which I thought that was really interesting. I had not heard of that. Um, and then we have the ship. Well, to me, this is a sailboat. <laughs> but in what I can find, that's still also considered a ship. The ship with the cross as the mast symbolizes the church with Christ as the captain, which is what I was reading about, kind of was alluding to that uh, Christ is in charge of the boat and the boat is the church. And some um, churches even have their ceilings um, kind of shaped like the bottom of a boat to have it appear that the that the people in the church are in the boat and um, there's another word that's associated with all of this with the boat and the church and that is the nave which I have seen but we don't call our sanctuary a nave but apparently some of the older um, churches uh, traditions do and the word nave comes from the Latin navis, and I'm going to say right now that I never learned how to pronounce Latin words, so that could be wrong. <laughs> N-A-V-I-S, navis, which is, or ship, that is the same word for ship. And it was, um, they call it the nave because it's meant to portray the reality that the church is a ship protecting those inside it from the waves and buffets of the world. In, um, Early Christian art, no, art, Noah's Ark is typically used to represent the church, while later artists use the episode of Jesus calming the waves of the, of the, in the sea. So um, that is, those are the two, um, two of the ways that the church and the boat are um, looked upon as that is the church protecting the people that are in it and that and we that protects us from the all the perils of the 
of the world that we're in. Um, yes, that it, the ship represented salvation, saving its passengers from stormy, dangerous seas and delivering them safely home. And then also with this one with the cross um, can also represent when Jesus saved, when Jesus was in the boat and saved Peter on the water. So those are the two that we'll put up today. <clears throat> Because I, even if I, even though I knew what this was about, I had, if I would have seen this on the tree in the sanctuary, I would have had no idea what that meant without reading what Melody had written on the back and then how I looked into it a little more deeply. So I'll put those on the tree. I have to say, if anybody is saying hi to me, I'm going to say hi back to you. I don't see any comments yet. And apparently I've noticed this with others doing it too, that Sometimes the comments come in quite a bit later, but I think that we probably just may not want to sit here and wait for 20 minutes for them to finally show up on my computer. But I will just say that I do appreciate it when people say hello, if they don't mind. I love having, it lets me know that um, I'm not alone, that there's company with, company with me, and um, I really appreciate that, that you being here with me, even though I may not be able to um, see what you're writing right now, but thanks for doing that, and I always go back and read them later. So I'll put the two, the two uh, symbols of the church is a ship, and how we are protected by our captain, Jesus Christ, to help us against all that, all the storms that come against us in the world. There we go. Oops. So, Thank you. Oh, now I see. I can see one comment. You're welcome, Kathy. Hey, I love doing this. I love that this is, well, it's not my schoolwork and it's not my job, but I don't know. It's kind of something I thought I could do and I'm really having fun doing it too, looking into all of these. So thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. <laughs>